Good morning, folks. This morning's soap is uh, Razor Rock. And uh, this particular soap is lightly scented. I don't think this one's offered at Italian Barber anymore. That's what the soap looks like on the inside. It's fairly soft. You can put your finger in it. When this was new, it was about uh, five ounces of soap. And uh, of course, yes, I got it on sale. Matter of fact, I got it in one of those bundle deals, so I got the uh, matching aftershave to go right along with it. I also have the um, Allen Block No Rubber Band and got an unscented witch hazel that's methylated. Got it whipped up here in a uh, bowl from uh, Banyulet. That's what it looks like there on the inside. And uh, this particular brush, it's got a synthetic knot. And this was one of the early brushes from Yaki. I would consider it one of the first ones, I um, guess you might say, because at that point in time they didn't have very many brushes on their uh, AliExpress website. And uh, this one here was just one of them that liked the handle the color. It's pretty bright. Mm, excuse me, shaver of the day is a nice and shiny <laughs> supply injector. It's got the uh, two dot plate and this will be the third uh, use on the uh, Persona blade and uh, it does have that thumb screw there so if you're unfamiliar with this kind of shaver you definitely want to make sure you get the plug in the sink when you're messing around with this thing because uh, it'll be a sad day if that goes down the sink. <laughs> It won't be fun digging that one out. But at any rate, this uh, particular shaver is, uh, it's not a lightweight by any means. It's It's got some weight behind it. It's probably one of the, uh, yeah, I don't have, I can't think of even another injector that's even made that weighs as much as this one here. It comes in this polished version as well as a matte version. Um, they, uh, also have black ones, matte and polished, if you will. And um, so, if you're interested in uh, something like that, but like I said, it, it's not a lightweight. So, if you're not looking for a heavy injector, you might want to look at elsewhere. And as it goes for modern injectors, there's not very many of them. Douglas has one that's. I guess you might say that's more on the lightweight side of things that you might person might be more interested in but this one here um, when I got mine I got it uh, at a special I guess if you will with all three plates got a good you know pretty good buy in my opinion got all three plates and the uh, of course the shaver and some blades and I got it right at a hundred dollars so so you might it's not necessarily a, an adjustable as opposed to just one with interchangeable plates. And uh, it's fine for me. Uh, this one here being the two dot might be considered a classic. I, uh, I've used all three plates and uh, this one here, it just, it works well. It's efficient, smooth. And speaking of the blades, I think it's called Accutech. This is the folks that, um, I guess you might say, the proud owners of uh, Persona Blades nowadays. And uh, I get an email from them from time to time. And uh, with it, yesterday it gave me a link to their website and. Uh, which this time, it's been a while since I've been to their website, but they uh, gave some, their product page, all the different kind of blades that they make, and um, kind of certain that the blades that you get from Supply is the same ones that, they're, in other words, their Persona. Pretty sure of that. But at least they're still making blades <laughs> for these things. Because there's not very many makers for the blades. It does have a particular shape to it that um, I find pretty interesting. In that the uh, it seems to be a, 
a trend. That's, that's a good design. How it's tapered right here on the handle. So that you can put your little finger underneath there. With this being smooth, and I don't have the matte one, so I don't know if that's any uh, any different with uh, your hands getting wet on how hard it may be to hang on to it. In other words, you may have to adjust your grip to learn how to put your little finger underneath there, even though this handle is kind of long. Especially long compared to like a Shake Injector, a G1, or an E. Either one, they're, about, they're the same as it goes for handle length and whatnot. As it goes for how many shades can you get out of a blade, it's really up to, it's your mileage may vary. People, you know, everybody's got different beard types. Now for me, I get pretty good shaves with an injector, whether it's a vintage one or <laughs> or this one here. I get great shaves with with injectors. I enjoy shaving with them, but uh, not everybody gets a, you might say, a good shave with them. And I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, technique. It'd be hard to say what the reasoning is behind some really struggling with a uh, injector. It's kind of like, uh, for me, the, um, the Focus Dynamic. It's a single edge shaver that's got a pivoting head. And uh, some folks really struggle with that shaver. And for me, it just seems pretty natural. Like I say, I use the, uh, uh, I use the pivoting head as a uh, forgiving point as opposed to a, uh, actually try to use it to pivot with. I shave with it as if it's a fixed uh, head and uh, shaves just fine for me. But then I've seen some other videos where end up with weepers and whatnot and that's such a mild shaver for me. I have a hard time understanding the uh, what happened you know in order to get weepers. So like I said Everybody's faces are different, the whiskers are different, so keeping all that in mind, the shaver may not be for you, because it does weigh a bit. I did not notice on the website it giving, and it may have at some point in time, how much these things weigh, but I can tell you the uh, shake injector, whether it's the L, I, you know, take your pick. They're all fairly well. They're, they're pretty light, especially compared to this one here. I'd almost give this one, especially compared to my Parkers, it, it weighs just as much as the heavyweight Parker, if not more. In other words, three and a half ounces. I think it's weighing more than that. Speaking of different skin types, my face kind of sort of feels like it maybe has something to do with being outside a lot when I was when I was working outside. But most of my, I guess you might say, younger days I was outside. I think that may have had something to do with the skin and what it's used to. It is a lot of fun to shave with though. It goes right along the lines of uh, let the sharpness of the blade and the weight of the, the razor to do the work for you. Because this one here, just let it glide across the face. <laughs> Find the angle, not a lot, don't mind your pressure. And maybe that's where some of the folks are having issues, especially with a, a heavyweight. They're so used to shaving with a uh, 
a lightweight and the difference in between shaving with a lightweight and a heavyweight making that adjustment might be a little bit difficult for some on a different note yesterday <laughs> my wife enjoys these she gets a kick out of all of it she being a nurse um, company sent out an email yesterday say hey you can go to this particular location and everybody get your flu shots for free so I let her know because she'd been talking about it for months that she's wanting to take you know get the flu shot and uh, so I let her know they sent out the email and it, it was started you know actually the day before but yesterday was the first day we were made aware of it So needless to say, she had to go yesterday, and the whole family loaded up, went to go get flu shots. She thought it was fun. She likes to, she plopped down in the chair. She was the first one. All four of us were in the same room. <laughs> yeah, she was in a hurry to get that flu shot. Me, I, I'm not a particular, I'm not a big fan of needles, never have been. So I went last. <laughs> last time I had a flu shot. Yeah, I got the flu. And it's just coincidence that I got the flu shot and I got the flu. Just happened to be one of those years that the flu shot that I got was not the strain that was floating around. So I got the strain that was floating around that flu shot didn't take care of. I hadn't had the flu in forever. I mean, it had been a, a many years ago. Until then. But I got the flu shot now and I think it takes a moment or two it doesn't it's not instantaneous I think it's a week or two before it's fully in effect got just a little bit right there I think I'll catch those this soap when I got it was pretty inexpensive I don't remember exactly how much I paid for the whole thing but if I remember right it was pretty darn cheap Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same way over here. That got that little portion right there. Not the easiest to get. It don't grow in this. <laughs> you know, I'm sure everybody's got their spots in their face where the hair just grows every which way. Not the easiest to get smoothed out. It's not baby butt by any means, but to, I use a. The feedback of the the blade grazer give me a kind of a clue on how close I'm getting. Once it starts to quieten down, then I know I got close enough. I don't, I don't push the issue. In other words, <laughs> just looking for a smooth, comfortable shave, no irritation, no weepers. Face feels pretty good. Sometimes, you know, with an inexpensive soap, your uh, post-shave may not always be the best. Your shave might be alright, but your post-shave is uh, not always the best. And uh, my post-shave is pretty good. Yeah. Still got some residual slickness. My face feels moisturized also, which is, um, if you're working outside, I think that's going to be a key point. Salon block is, it's about like the cube. <laughs> Seems like it's lasting forever. I, this is my first and only, well I say only, only one that I have used, only Allen block. And uh, it has lasted quite a while. I got my money's worth out of it, that's for sure. Have you ever seen Steve Walker's uh, YouTube videos? 
<laughs> he was using his when it was down to about about right here, just a little bee chunk. <laughs> I don't know at that point if I could hang on to it. This size here sometimes is a challenge just to hang on to it without the rubber band. Base is feeling pretty good, I have to say. I usually, as it goes for redness, that's just a, I guess you might say, it's natural for my skin to do that. It doesn't win here, even if I don't shave, so there's nothing new there. If you're used to, not used to watching my videos. I have a certain routine, certain things when you watch these videos. Redness, some case, days more so than others, especially right over here on the sideburns. Especially if I'm shaving with a shavette or a straight razor, they seem to turn a little bit red. It's, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't irritate or anything else. So I, half the time I don't even know that that's going on until somebody points it out to me. So I don't feel it. The menthol. You can feel the cooling effect. Yeah, I think I've... Uh, I think I've found my witch hazel. Scented witch hazels are kind of nice. Because they're lightly scented. You get that, you know, that benefit when you first apply it. At least with my nose, shortly thereafter, I don't notice it. Um... That's my nose. Somebody else's might be different. Uh, so in other words, I would not feel that it interferes with the aftershave or anything like that. But I really do like the cooling effect of the uh, menthol of my unscented witch hazel. I think I'm, I've got another, uh, I have a scented one from a Sterling. I'll use it before I get another one of these. But boy, I really, the cooling effect is just awesome. Get this shook up here. I'll try to put a link for a lot of this information down below as much as I can find. Um, Don from Wet the Face had uh, did a review on this. I think back in 2015. I was just getting started. He's one of the. I guess you might say the driving factors. Oh yeah. Speaking of that. Um, I, uh, he's the driving factor, one of, one of them, driving factors for me to, uh, uh, start doing a blog. And I'll have a link down for it down below. Speaking of that sort of thing, yeah, things have changed. If you have been watching some of the news and you may or may not keep up with this sort of thing. But, uh, this is still pretty good stuff. I like it. I've used it a few times. Um. Google Plus. Google's making Google Plus go away. I think August the 19th it is. And I have a uh, small community uh, that, uh, of course, will be going away with it. And I also had a collection of, uh, of my shaves there. So, in other words, not a part of a group or a shaving community. I just had a collection of my shave of the days. Just a collection out there. So, it'll be going away with it. So, trying to figure out what to do. For somebody that might be interested in looking at my shave of the days, not necessarily want to be part of any particular shaving community I might be a part of, whether it's Google Plus or Facebook or whatever the case might be. I'm on Instagram too, so that would be a good place to, to go see also. But you might there's usually more information on my on my blog and or and or my shave of the day. So I started a Facebook page starting with my shave of the day, so those will be located out there. And uh, it's just artisan shaving, still keeping along the same name, same theme. And, uh, of course, I still keep up my blog. I'll start, as I transitioned all this, making sure that I got links for so people can find me. Because uh, with Google Plus going, going away, you can kind of see that some of the folks that are in those shaving communities are trying to figure out what to do now. Because some of them don't not necessarily want to go to Facebook. They like the they like how Google Plus was doing it and it was working well for them. So there was a um, one that was mentioned that I had, I've got it started up there. I don't know how well it's going to work um, for small small groups. I think it'll work well, but I'm not so sure about large groups. I could be wrong. Uh, just my thoughts on it. It's called. Um, we me, I think it is. I have a link down below, 
at any rate, I started one up there and just giving it a run to see how it's going to work. It's open to anybody. So in other words, you don't have to answer any questions or anything of the sort. You can post shaves or whatever the case might be. Anyway, shape, you know, mail calls, so on and so forth. But uh, it seems to be, how can you say, rather easy to use. Once you use it once or twice, you'll catch on. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to, to get started, as well as the fact that um, uh, it tells you what they do with your information or what they don't do with your information is probably more what you're interested in. But at any rate, changes with technology. <laughs> like my camera, one day i got to get this thing replaced. The battery's starting to not last near long enough. At any rate, I had a really good shave. Until next time, everybody stay safe and smooth shades to you.